Hi everyone, is this the end of Microsoft Forms? We will see. In this video, I'll show you an incredible and awesome feature added recently by Microsoft in these days, targeting Microsoft lists. You can now create custom forms for your lists and share it with everyone in your organization, even if users don't have access to your list. Let me walk you through every step. Let's go. Here I am in a Microsoft Teams. Let me show you where you can start with the new Forms experience in Microsoft and SharePoint lists. You can start to play with this new capability in Microsoft Teams in SharePoint or directly in Microsoft lists. In this case, I am in Microsoft Teams. And what I want to add here is a new list, of course. I'm going to use the app Microsoft Lists to do that. Let me click on save and let's create a new list. Now, let's say that I want to start from scratch and I want to create a new list in order to request support. All right, orange, it's okay. Let's click on create. And now across the Microsoft Lists app in Microsoft Teams, I'm able to create a new list. As you can see, now I have a new option available in the command bar forms. This opens the new forms experience in Microsoft Teams. You have the same look and feel if you jump in SharePoint, in site contents, and let me open the list that I just created a few seconds ago. I have here in the command bar this new experience forms. If I click on it, I can start the creation of new forms for this list but I'm going to do the demo using Microsoft Lists. So let me open the Waffle menu and then a new tab in the browser will open with Microsoft Lists. I can start now the creation of a new list if I want or using an existing one. Let's go with the new one and let me recreate the list that I just created before. Request support. There we go. I want to target another site collection if I can, and this would be collab at work. And I can pin it to the navigation and let's create this new list. I will start from blank, so I would just would add a few columns to, to have the, the list ready to go. Let me add a new choice column here, and this is support for the product. This would be a choice column. Let me just add some product here. OneDrive, SharePoint, and let's add another one, which could be Teams, for example. Let me set just this one. OneDrive is okay. SharePoint, let me fix the name. All right. And this other column is ready to go. And now, finally, let me add uh, an additional column, this would be person and this would be name and applicant. So who is requesting support? This is a person or group column and let me enforce unique values now. And I'll show you later why I'm doing this. This is a, it's very important. All right, let's click on save and now I'm ready to go with this new list. I have just three columns, but it's enough to showcase this new capability. Let's talk about permission of this list. As I said, I saved this list in the site collection collab at work. If I click on the link, I can open the site collection. This just to show you that in this site collection, I have just one member. Giuliano De Luca is the owner of this site collection and of course of this list. That means that I can orchestrate and manage this list. I can add a new item. I have the classic SharePoint and Microsoft lists experience by adding a new item. But moreover, I have this new experience that will allow me to create new forms. And I can share these new forms with everyone in my organization, even if they don't have access. This is the great benefit of using this new capability. And this is why I asked if this is the hand of 
forms of Microsoft Forms, but we will see. Now clicking on the Forms button, I can start the creation experience of a new form. And let's start from scratch. So if I add a title here and a description, this will be not available in the list, but just in the form. So let me add some content here. I defined a title, in my case, request support for Microsoft 365, and I added just a description for this form. Now, what I can do, and this is uh, pretty cool, directly from form, I can add additional columns if I want. Let's say that this list is not enough, I need an additional column that will define comments, for example. And it will be a single line of text, and uh, that's it. So I can click outside of this, this area and a new field will be added. Down below in the background, you can see that the new column is available in the list. It means that you can use forms to create and to modify the structure of this list. Now, another important thing that you have is the ability in the ellipses button to move up or down every field so you can rearrange the order of every field that will appear. You have settings so you can rename an existing column and you can change stuff. Let me, for example, click on show profile photos. Let's save. All right. Now, let me show you that you have also this other functionality by dragging and drop a specific column, you can rearrange re the order of the fields in the form. So now looks looks good, I would say. But this is not enough because in the right panel, you can hide specific columns if you want. Let's say that you don't want to display specific column to everyone in your organization, but just few fields, you can do that. Moreover, you, we have teams, and this will allow you to change the gradient color in the background of this form. I can select this one, and this looks like more teams style. We have this other one, or this other one. These are the current option. You can change also the gradient effect. You can have flamingo gradient if you want, or you can readapt it this by using orange. You can expand the color. It's really up to you how you want to to use this this tab. All right, let me go back and now let's expand settings. This is another important aspect to consider. You can customize the confirmation message when a user add a new item and use the new form experience. In this case, I have just thank you for submitting your response. Let me add a few words here. We'll support you quickly and that's it so now the change every change that you make is saved immediately there is here a loading that and a message that tell me that every change is saved now I can have a preview of this of this form if I want clicking on it this open a new tab in the browser and I can see now this form how it looks like it. let me show you the last thing in settings you can uh, Let's say that you are ready to close getting uh, data from users. You can then turn off these accept responses. And here you have another message. We are not accepting responses at the moment because you don't want to get more feedback so you can stop it. All right, now that this thing is done, if I reopen, as you can see, I can uh, copy the link of this form and this is absolutely important because it's the one that you have to use and when I click on the ellipses button I can stop accepting responses or I can re-edit the form I can also duplicate the form so let's say that I want to use this one instead of the other or just because I want to make uh, visible all fields in one and hide someone in the other all right, let me copy now the first one that I created and let me open it with another user. So I now I will open this link with another user of the same organization. I am impersonating Adela Vance here of the same 
organization gdeluca i can open a new tab and let me pass the url that i used before i'm going to enter with adele events and now i i have this form just created i can add a title for example support for teams let me set teams please any help to create webinars and the applicant is adele events now i why i'm doing this because if you want to limit new items in the list because of course i can submit here my request now it's, it's submitted but if i refresh the page i can re-add another value on the same list so let me re-add for example support teams let's say this time uh, onedrive and then uh, support for teams i can say and the as an applicant now i can re-add myself so i can request the same thing twice or multiple time if i click on submit now i have this this value already exists in the list so this is very important if you want to limit entries in your list using this new experience there is no way to disable the ability to uh, re-add multiple values on the same list, but a workaround that you can uh, use is Power Automate. So every time that a new user uh, re-add multiple items, the same user re-add multiple entries in the list, with Power Automate you can check a specific column or a specific value and you can delete every new items added from the same user in the list. All right, now let's see this experience in the in a mobile device. And this is how this form looks like on uh, by opening in a mobile device. Right. Last thing to call out is the last scenario. Let's say that I am ready to stop accepting responses. I can click on the link. Now the form is closed. And if I reopen the same link, always with Adele events in my case, I have now the message, we are not accepting responses at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider to subscribe, like and add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about forms in Microsoft Lists. I hope to see you next time. Bye.